Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another grocery haul. I just got back from Dollar Tree, Walmart, Sam's, and HEB. So I got like a whole bunch of groceries here and back there. We just got it out of the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it all out. I'm gonna show you what I got and check it out. Got my Frankenstein t-shirt on. Believe it or not, this actually glows in the dark. It's kind of cool. And if you can see, I have my Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein earrings on. Loving this. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all laid out for you and I'm gonna show you what I got. So we are gonna go ahead and start with our Sam's haul. So we're gonna start over here. Had to get more bread. Got some unsalted sweet cream butter cause I still have like one more of these in my refrigerator plus maybe half, but I go through butter a lot, so figure might as well get it now instead of later. There you go. We got the Baby Bell little cheeses upon um, today's request. Actually, I think these were on sale too. This rang up as $9.98. I think that was actually a sale price. I could be wrong on that. Um, I did pick up some more paper plates. Now, these are not the ones that I normally get. They, I know they, um, they come out with like, they come out with the holiday themed paper plates and I do like to get them. You only get like 85 of them and it's for $10. These are really good and I'm not really all into the whole day of the dead kind of thing, but I figured it's the only um, Halloween kind of paper plates where you can get like a bunch of them. This is probably gonna last us until freaking the end of November because I still actually have these ones from the summer. <laughs> So those will probably get put to the side and we'll move on to these because we are in the middle of October. Um, I did pick up some more Fit Crunch Bars. I was so disappointed, y'all. They didn't have the Fit Crunch Bars like I showed you in the last grocery haul with the uh, strawberry. Um, this is what I have left of that one. What was this? This was the uh, strawberry strudel and the cookies and cream one. I've only got three left. And I thought for sure, I figured it was a limited time only thing, but I thought, you know, they would hang on to it a little bit longer, but they didn't. All they had was this one, but I like this flavor too. I was just really hoping for that strawberry and the cookies and cream one. So anyway, moving on. Picked up some more bananas. I am super excited that Sam's finally has the Nathan's hot dogs. These are the only hot dogs that we will eat. So they're 100% beef and you get 24 of these. So anyway, super excited that they finally have the Nathan's hot dogs, 12.98. 12.98 for 24 of these hot dogs. I don't think that's too bad. All right, so I did pick up some more tortillas because I think we got like one left in the refrigerator. Um, I picked up the beef stew meat. This is almost, four pounds. It is $20, but I'm going to divide this and I'm going to put it into two separate bags because I'm going to use this for two separate meals. I think one of the meals uh, TJ requested was some beef stroganoff and the other one was beef stew. So this is two meals. So 10 bucks for each meal. So I think that's not too bad. Um, I did. Okay. So this time I picked up the fair life protein shakes. Now the reason why I did that is because now you get 12 bottles and it's still 30 grams of protein. Now the Premier Protein Shakes, I do like those. They're 30 grams of protein, you get 15 bottles. Um, this was this was 21.38 for this, for 12 bottles. The Premier Protein Shakes, you get 15 bottles and it's 26.99. Um, if anybody watches uh, Frugal Fit Mom, like I do all the time, she was saying that the ingredients in the Fair Life is actually a lot cleaner than Premier Protein Shakes. Um, you get the same amount of protein, the um, and the amount of calories is actually less in this one, whereas the Premier Protein Shakes are 160 calories. This one is 150. So. I decided I figure I'll give this a try, see what I think. It's in the same flavor I was gonna get in the Premier Protein Shakes anyway, so we'll see how it goes. I picked up some crawfish tails. I actually have two of them uh, because I'm gonna be making some crawfish Monica, so stay tuned for that recipe. Uh, I picked up some flour. I wanna be making, uh, I'm gonna try and start making my own bread. Some coffee because you gotta. Um, more diced tomatoes because I was completely out except for Rotel. 
but so I got that and upon two days request this is a winter limited edition you get the cranberry ginger ale regular ginger ale and blackberry ginger ale today said that he had tried cranberry ginger ale one time I think uh, when he was at work or something I'm not really sure I don't know where he was but anyway he said he tried it and he was he said it was really good so he told me to grab this so I did and uh, and I like blackberry too so I figure it's a win-win now this is not something that I would consume on a regular basis like you know daily because it is 140 calories for just one of these cans I like the zero calorie stuff <laughs> so I'm gonna try I want to try that one and I want to try that one but that's probably it for me. I'll probably leave this for TJ and the kids. That is all that I had gotten over at Sam's and my grand total is 198.29. I don't know how well my camera is picking that up. I spent $198.29 Hey everybody, at... I just wanted to add in here that today's video is part of the October Grocery Haul Collaboration hosted by Jessica over at Jessica Myros and co-hosted by Tiff over at Small Town 6. I'm gonna leave both of their channels linked down in the description box below, so don't forget to check them out as well as the link to this collaboration. So when you're done with this video, you can go down there, click on that link, and then you can check out everybody else's hauls. All right, let's get back to okay, the video. Here is our HEB haul. We got all of this. This. So we'll start over on this side. Um, I picked up some uh, Angel Sweet Tomatoes. I got some more romaine hearts, some celery, um, some more green onion. I got two jalapenos. Um, I got a package of six avocados because that was actually a, um, oh, what do you call it? They had like a deal going on with these. Um, the six count bags of avocado, the mini avocados, I think they were like $2.97 or something. So I had to get a bag of that. I really should have got two of them, honestly. But um, some mushrooms for the um, beef stroganoff that I'm going to be doing. Uh, I told Megan about this sriracha mayo dressing spread and she seemed really interested in it. So I got that for her. I got some more vegetable oil, some panko crumbs, got some cookies had to get some bacon because we got some recipes come in um i did get that's my camera just not like automatically focusing it's so annoying um i did get a package of the uh wrapped ready to cook jalapeno poppers i do usually make this myself but honestly i have tried out the cost of buying it like this versus doing it all yourself really pretty much evens out to be the same. So I'd rather just have somebody else do it for me and then I'll just cook it. So <laughs> uh, we're gonna be doing, uh, we're gonna be grilling one night. So I, I wanted to get this. I got the uh, the ears of corn and where did they go? I got the stuffed uh, mushrooms. I think this is, uh, what is this? The stuffed spinach and mozzarella stuffed mushrooms. So I picked up those cause we're gonna grill one night. We're gonna do like some burgers and dogs, hence the hot dogs. The burgers I got from Walmart. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I got, they call it pasta ribbons. This was the H-E-B brand of pasta. It's basically egg noodles, but, for, but they call it pasta ribbons. So I needed that for uh, the beef stroganoff. Had to get some more pico. I get that in the medium. Uh, I got the zero sugar Gatorade. The girls both like that. Charlotte requested the Dots pretzels. I got a package of chick. Oh, excuse me. Oh wait, this actually, oh, I'm showing you something from Walmart. This is actually Walmart. Scratch that. Never mind that you saw that because I got the chicken from Walmart, but I did get these chicken wings. I got two bags of these chicken wings from HEB. Um, there's a, a new recipe that I'm gonna be making really soon. It's like spicy Asian wings. So I got uh, two bags of this and um, I got some 80-20. Uh, this is just a three pound thing of ground beef. I got some uh, regular breakfast sausage. Um, I'm gonna be making my own biscuits to go with the beef stew, and then if we have anything left over, today I wanted to do uh, biscuits and sausage gravy for breakfast the next morning, so that's why I got this. Um, oh, this to the sesame seeds. This is gonna go for with the, um, to sprinkle on top of the uh, spicy Asian chicken that I'm gonna be making, so I had to get that. Got some Mexican style cheese. Got the sparkling waters, as usual. The cranberry raspberry, tropical. I got two of the cranberry and I got one of the cherry. Some heavy whipping cream, 
Y'all, this is my favorite. I got two of them, the guacamole salsa, so good. I got one can of the ranch style beans, two cans of black beans. I wanted to try out this Chobani oat coffee creamer in vanilla. I don't know, I felt like changing it up. I use the same coffee creamer all the time and I'm not, I don't have a problem with it, but I just wanted to change it up. Uh, it's still uh, 25 calories for one tablespoon, so I don't know, I thought I'd give it a try. Some honey barbecue sauce, more hot dogs. I actually bought these before I knew that Sam's even had Nathan's over there, so that's why I have more hot dogs. So 24 plus eight. I think we're gonna have enough hot dogs for a while. <laughs> Uh, I got a bag of pinto beans. Um, I told you that I had made my own uh, refried beans and I want to perfect it, so I got another bag. I'm gonna try it again. We'll see how it goes. Charlotte requested the s'more snack mix. We really like that. I got the scary cakes for the kids. Um, Charlotte is my picky eater. <laughs> and I think on nights where um, I'm cooking something that I know she's not gonna want, um, I just picked her up these little um, cheese, it's a four cheese pizza. There's two little mini personal pizzas in here, so I figured that would be good for her. And then I got the um, the uh, M M&M and Oreo yogurt things for the kids. So, and HEB also had a deal of you buy two Pepsis, get the third for free. So that's why I've got three different Pepsis. This one's the Diet Pepsi, and TJ looked at that and he's like, "Oh, Diet Pepsi," and I was like, "Hey, I like Diet Pepsi, okay?" Hence. The I got this here. I was like, that's fine, you know, because everybody else likes these two. I'm like, I'll just drink that one. I don't care. It was just buy two, get one free. So there you go. <laughs> um, so anyway, so that is my um, HEB haul. And the total for this was, um, now initially they charged me, uh, it was $202, but, and it, but they didn't give me the deal for the Pepsis. It didn't come off on the, uh, when they were scanning it, like they didn't, it didn't, the deal didn't come off. So I had to go over to customer service and I said, hey, I got your deal. I got the three Pepsis. And so they just refunded me the $8 and change, whatever it was. And they gave me the cost of it back. So it was actually, so all of this was about $194 and some change. So not too bad. Okay, so here is my Walmart haul. So I'll start over here with the chicken you had already seen. So I did pick up this, but then I had seen that these packages of chicken has a little magical sticker on it. How exciting. There are still five chicken breasts in here for $12.04. This one was 13. This is one of the cheaper ones that I could find, but this one is by um, Purdue Harvest Land. So that one, Oh yeah, actually they're both $12.04. Five chicken breasts, so I think I got a pretty good deal because all the other packages of chicken from their brand was like right around $15. So that's why I got one of these and I got two of those. Again, we are doing grill night, so I picked up these bacon cheddar burgers for me and TJ. Megan's not really big into burgers, so she'll probably have a hot dog, so I'll just like cook two, save two, cook them all, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I uh, got some more honey ham. I got this ginger paste is for a recipe. Um, I think it's for that spicy Asian chicken I was talking to you about. So I got one of these. I was trying to find just a single ginger root. That's all I wanted because I knew it was gonna be a lot cheaper. This was like $3 and some change. I can't remember, can't remember how much right now, but can't find just a single ginger root. You have to get a bag of ginger roots and it was the same cost as this. And I thought, well, I'll just get the paste because it's less work for me to do. So there you go. <laughs> uh, I got two of the double packs of cream cheese, mainly for baking, because I know I'm gonna be baking soon. I've been baking a lot lately. I'll be doing some more baking. I know I'm gonna need them. Uh, I got two things of the Pillsbury pizza crust. I like to get the store brand pizza crust because it's just, it costs, you know, it's cheaper. HEB doesn't carry their own crust, so I waited till I went over to Walmart that does have their own brand of pizza crust, and they were out. So I ended up getting Pillsbury anyway, whatever. Got some mozzarella cheese and this lovely four pound uh, block of sharp, sharp cheddar cheese. So this I think was like $13 and some change. The, um, the two pound blocks, um, th this just ended up being more cost effective to buy this huge, huge block. 
and I'll probably like maybe shred half of it and then just like bag the other half and then when I'm ready I'll just I'll shred the other half because I'm not doing all of this in one shot. That's just not happening. But anyway, so I know that this was a good deal. So that was my total over at Walmart. I cannot seem to find my flipping receipt. Oh, $144. For all of this, $144. Um, I got some Halloween candy. I got the candy corn and the autumn mix. I got the Cowtail Minis Caramel Apple. So I picked the kids up more of those placards. Uh, this one is for, now this one is for Megan because I get these ones for Charlotte. I didn't realize this is upside down because she has um, braces. So this is supposed to be really good for her. So I got those. Charlotte really likes the all pink Starburst things that you can put in your waters. Uh, I tried it one time, she loved it. So I got her two of the pink ones. And I did get the blue raspberry, she wanted to try that. Okay y'all, this is the Pillsbury Cheddar Garlic Biscuit Mix. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, do not get this at the Dollar Tree, because it is $1.25. Over at HEB, it's what, $1.12. And I'm pretty sure it's like even just as cheap over at Walmart. So this, this was a complete waste, but I do wanna try this because I've got a recipe in mind that I'd like to try this out with. The lady behind the counter said that this was really good and she thinks it tastes right along the lines of the um, the biscuits you get over at uh, Red Lobster. So I think I wanna try a recipe with this. But anyway, so um, I got some Halloween cups that I thought the kids could use for some ice cream. I got those ones, these ones, these plates. That is it from Dollar Tree. I spent $21 over there. And I think that actually finally completes my haul. All right, y'all, just like last time, I created a dinner menu. So I actually have about 15 things on here. Some, I have the pork and sweet potato chili that is left over from the last pay period. So I just moved that over to here. We're doing nachos one night because I've got a ton of t tortilla chips that I wanna use up. Um, the Italian vegetable pepperoni quiche, that is a favorite of ours because I got a ton of eggs because we have our own chickens. Red beans, rice, and sausage. I've got a whole bunch of that smoked sausage that you've seen in one of my um, grocery hauls. And I also have a bag of dried red beans so I figured that would be a delicious meal to cook up. Crawfish Monica, some slow cooker Mongolian beef. I found that off of Pinterest. Stay tuned for that recipe. Beef stroganoff, uh, honey garlic slow cooker chicken. That's another Pinterest recipe so stay tuned for that. Chicken black beans and rice, chicken pot pie. I actually make my pie crust from scratch so it is delicious. Uh, burgers and dogs on the grill. I already talked to you about that. Beef stew, chicken tetrazzini, a loaded potato soup, and the spicy Asian barbecue chicken, which goes into the crock pot, and that'll be another recipe that I'll have on here. So these are all the dinners that I have for this pay period. This will probably shift. Uh, some will probably get moved over into the next pay period, which typically happens. It's totally fine. But anyway, so that is our dinner menu. All right, y'all, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please subscribe down below, hit that like button, and share with somebody you love, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!